We're so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. Today is Peter's birthday. I was whipping up some, I ended up not having black beans. They're refried bean burgers. So I'm really interested to see how they turn out. Um, so yeah, that's what I was making in the beginning. I have some surprise brownies in the oven for Peter right now. I actually found a dairy-free plant-based brownie mix and then just instead of using eggs or butter, I used oil and then I made like a flax egg. Um, Google that if you're interested in an egg substitute. So yeah, that is the little surprise that I have from the brownies. He knows the burgers are coming and then I also showed those buffalo potato wedges. I think we're also gonna have some leftover red pepper soup. Um, he's stopping at the P.O. box and then he'll be home. Um, I'm so excited just to be with him. We both kind of had like really fast days, me preparing this. I also did the dishes as a little birthday present um, and Peter had a crazy day at work. So we're excited to just like have a relaxed night on Disney property, just the two of us. It's better to like chill it after you make it so that you can form better patties. Um, and I put like a last little thing of sriracha on top. Um, so yeah, that's the batter. It's kind of creepy, like it looks like meat. Wait a minute, I'm home, I'm home. It's my birthday. Look at all this stuff. Did you show this? So my friend at work, because I'm known at my office to having candy canes and forcing everybody to have them. Bought me this two pound giant stick of peppermint. Opening up that later. We're watching Christmas movies for my birthday later after we get home. Oh, the brownies look a little oily. They look delicious though. But yeah, we also got Nothing's Christmas super cards. Nice. Oh my gosh. We yeah. gotta start sending ours. Yes. A rubber chicken. That's for Eve. <gasps> Sit. Good girl. Take your chicken. But she also got a ring pop. Well, it's we got so these Yorkshire Tea Malty Biscuit Tea. Sarah got this, Wait, this cute little pretty... Minnie Mouse baglet. Super cute. That's for Eve, it squeaks. I got this super cool Marvel toiletry set. Oh, that's and then we got these oogs, which is like, all the snacks in here are vegan. The yeah, card said. This is what I've been shit chatting with him about. Yes. I haven't told him. We're 12 days behind, so we gotta eat a lot tonight. Yes. Thank you so much, Nigel, Sam, and Bailey. Bailey. The pup who gave Eve gifts. Why are you looking so sassy? Wait, is dinner ready? Because I'm kind of yeah. hungry. Yeah, let's see. Then all of the snacks. Well, and I want to point out that we're finishing the mince pies, luxury handmade mince pies that are vegan style. I already had one on the car. Traffic, so crazy thing about Florida, it rains all the time, but nobody knows how to drive in the rain. So it took me, I got off work early today because we had our monthly meeting by like 20 minutes and I still got home a little bit later than I usually get home because nobody knows how to drive in the rain. But it's dinner time, I'm eating my other mince pie and I'm gonna have, make Sarah at least eat one of them. Melt in your mouth, mince pies, crumbly, deep and sweet, they go perfectly with, with Sherry, a fantastic festive treat. Is this not a perfect birthday dinner? She just smeared vegan ranch all over her burger. I'm saving the chips for my dipping portions. Delicious. I'm so excited. Oh. Off to the Boardwalk Resorts. The Boardwalk Resorts? Epcot Resorts. <laughs> this is Halloween, everybody make us see. Are you crazy? <laughs> it feels like Halloween. It does feel like Halloween. Guys, we're finally gonna be proper Disney YouTubers and go on the Skyliner because it's been open for like three months now, I think. We've never been on it. All of our friends who live for all no across reason. the country. For no reason. We have literally friends who have come all the way across the country, all across the world who have been on the Skyliner and we haven't been. Yeah. I, like there's literally, there's probably no reason besides like laziness. Like 
when we get to property, instead of taking the time to do this, we'd like want to go to like our destination. Or like just to enjoy the parks or something. Right, but we're going to so, do it tomorrow night. We're doing it tomorrow with Tyler. Yeah. It's going to be great. Expect a full comprehensive review <laughs> on Tech Tuesdays on the Skyliner. We're here, we're here, we're here in another resort Christmas tree life. Bom, bom, bom. I love this giant ball of popcorn. I want to eat that, but it's one, not edible, and two, I shouldn't steal it. And this is another resort that's got a gingerbread display. Wow. Oh, gosh. Look at the seats are like perfect to the outside with the benches. We're in the water theoretically then. But look at Minnie and Minnie baking away. We got over here, they got a tutorial of Forno, Flying Fish, Crest of the Wave. Wow. We got all the, uh, the ingredients. 25 hidden mix. Delicious. And of course you can buy your goods over here as well. I don't know if they've got the vegan loaf here. I think that was just the contemporary, but... Oh, Spitzkunchen. Wow, wow, wow. I don't recall all these all the garland last year. Awesome. Well, I have to sneeze because it's raining. <laughs> it's pouring. It was like misting on our way in. God bless you. We're gonna go to Avocadero. So let's just make a break for it and then. Okay. Stay there. I think we could get down there completely covered, pretty much. Yeah. But I just texted. The, oh, there's a tree over here too. I just texted the Earhart's because we don't think we've been here since they were here, and I missed them. And I wish they were here enjoying that Christmas tree. Karen, we could run around that tree. I think we could do a run since they've been. But we didn't like hang out. No. Katrina, we could slide down these these stairs together and then get yelled at by your parents. And it'd be all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. A little sneaky sneak. Open sesame. Have we ever even showed in here? You want that hot top? Or... Can you hear the song? It's when you wish upon a star. So here we got some bar snacks at Abercadab Bar. Sarah believes that we can get the famous fries that are delicious without the cheese. Yes. Sarah got a non-alcoholic magic mirror, soda water, mango syrup, Sprite, lime juice. It's not, I don't see it on the menu, but I just asked for an old fashioned because I'm 85. We'll go 95 year old man. But Sarah's gonna maybe ask about a vegan flatbread. Are you, do you want that or do you want to wait to like one of the other lounges? What other lounges are we going to? Um, but I got that nervousness that the other lounges aren't gonna have anything. I know that Alan Compass at the Yacht Club, we'll do, Oh, like, we've the never been there Polyfog. for the lounge. Yeah. Okay, we can and wait. Then, I know there's some stuff at um, the Cruise Club, though. I don't know. Yeah, we can wait. Okay. Peter just said it's a nice size. Is that an olive? It looks like a cherry. And then here's my drink. It's delicious. It's just really sweet. Look at that rain situation. If it keeps raining, we might just want to stay here. We can go to Bellevue. What? We can go to Bellevue. Oh, yeah. Um, how's your drink? Really good. Yeah? Not, not too much bite. I was nervous because I actually don't like my oranges like this. I like them to be like they're peeled bits, but they like the flavor. Alright. It's a, I actually love how gorgeous it is right now. The boardwalk, there's not a lot of people on it because it's rainy. And what's his name? <laughs> Was it Dick Cheney? That was the vice president, but Mike Cheney. There was <laughs> no an art. There was a like there was an artist in in Chicago that we'd always see at these oh, two galleries that we'd yeah. always go to, and he made the best downtown Chicago nighttime scenes. Yeah. And it was that it was thick, like light. thick like blotch like thick brush strokes, brush strokes mm -hmm. that had like texture to them <laughs> on the canvas. And he always did great winter and nighttime rainy because of the reflective light. Yeah. That's what this looks like. It see does. all behind us. Yeah. What was his name? It was something Cheney. Michael? I think it was, I think it was Michael, Michael Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in Chicago and you ever go to a gallery. There's artist that does a similar style that we always thought would be cool to have like Chicago and Disney stuff Right. Next one by Michael Cheney and one by this artist in, in the Disney. It's really not so bad. It's drizzly. Yeah. It's a heavy drizzle. We're going over to Yacht Beach Club. I think I either want to go to 
Um, where did we go last year with James and Jill? Well, that was two years ago. Two years um, ago? The Cruise Cup Lounge. I want to go to Ale and Compass or Cruise Cup. Yeah. And then maybe, I don't know if we want to like do one at Boardwalk, one at Beach Club, one at Anthony. It's the first time I've smelled beef and I've actually wanted it. <laughs> but do you smell that steak? Yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> I need to go think about my life. <laughs> When I say beautiful, reflective, rainy boards, even better when you have Christmas lights attached. This is yacht, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going into the yacht club because we're going to Elm Compass Lounge, but I see a beautiful Christmas tree. So we're gonna check out the Christmas, then we're gonna go to the lounge and chill. Maybe order some buffalo cauliflower. I had like a hard time this morning. We were like, let's do the Epcot Resort. So I was like, we're going to one lounge at every place. And I was like getting real crazy. And I was like, let's go to every single lounge. But then I was talking about it with Chelsea last night and I was like, does that mean jelly rolls? And Martha's Vineyard. And Swan and, and Dolphin. And, 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 Swan and, Dolphin. and so we only have, one, we only have so much time. Brought and two, yeah. like that would cost a, like $500 alone. Yeah. Like let's get a drone instead. Or how about a camera? That would be $500 if we just got like one thing from each place. It would, it would be three fifty. We just spent $27 at the last bar. On On one each. Here's the tree at the Yacht Club. Beach Club has the gingerbread carousel. They do have a Christmas village, though. Oh, it at, is. They still have Hurricane Hannah's Grill, like they yeah, do outside. Yeah, that's fine. I do think it's cool that like each place has like a very individualized display. Yeah, this is not Disney, which I love. No. It's just, like, look at this guy's snow blowing. And look at that toy store over there. And the couple that's it's me and you dancing in front of the tree. Yeah. Tutu. Pause if you want to see any of the specifics of the drinks. My last drink was super, super sweet, so Ooh, I don't know. Have a hibiscus mojito. Oh gosh. Or no kick mule. I love that. I don't know. I've just had like my mouth still feels so sweet. Maybe if we eat something, I'll get something. <laughs> Look at that menu. All right, here we go. Sarah went with the water this time because she's sweeted out currently. Even though we're going to go to bed with such belly aches because we're going home, watching a movie on the couch, and eating all the candy we just got in the mail today. I had cranberry splash thermos on the way here, and I had a pepsi. And I just ate that brownie. Ooh, thank Wait, you. did you say what you got? I didn't. I got a maple old-fashioned. We're doing a old-fashioned as the theme. Don't even joke. This one's a little different. It's a little... Zestier. Zestier, because it actually has orange juice mixed in with it, and a little bit of maple syrup. And then we special ordered the buffalo cauliflower yes. with vegan ranch. It's it's on the menu, but like you have to ask for it vegan you have style. To ask for it. It's different than what's on the menu, but you just gotta ask. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is legit. Oh my gosh. Look at all that hot sauce. I'm gonna ask for some bread to soak it up. All right, we're about to leave the Allen Compass Lounge, but I had to show this Christmas tree because there's Christmas joy everywhere. Even over there, there's a wreath. Over here, there's a tree. And we're getting ready to go home because we're going to go, it's like 9.30. And if we go home now, it's enough time to like get home and enjoy the night without being too reckless. Yeah, we have to walk that way, so we're going to see the Christmas joy on the way back. And check the shops for the It is a fall day. It's so nice. And we just haven't been here. It smells like a pool. Earhart's. Remember when we went swimming there? It was so fun. That was so much fun. I Kaylee love that was so footage. fun. Yeah. That footage was great. Yeah. I think, Karen, I think you made some friends that night. Yeah, Beaches and Cream is opening up. So did you see the concept there? No, I didn't. But remember we said last night? So in January, it opens up December 26th. Mm -hmm. But Chelsea used to work there. And that was like. I'm not college fork and it was before Beaches and Cream was famous. Like as crazy as it sounds, people, you used to walk up and just get a seat immediately at a table. Yeah. Now you have to like book it six months in yeah. advance. It's like one of those like big So because of that like, and time. because Chelsea used to work there for a long time, it was her favorite spot as a cast member. We did we decided last night with Chelsea and Cole that we're gonna go there in January on like a like date night adventure kind of thing. Yeah. To the new Beaches and Cream. And right. they've already announced they've got a vegan burger, vegan dessert and you can like appetize chili, like french fry, something like that. But it is a yeah. gorgeous night out. It's super, super, super nice. This is one of my top five favorite bathrooms <laughs> in all of Disney World, if you didn't know. Also, we went to Beaches and Cream like 
the first night we hung out with Dom, Matt, and Chelsea, and our other roommates. That's where we became friends. Yeah, we did the kitchen sink. If you can find the photo. <laughs> it was your profile picture for like... Ten years? Seriously. No, we haven't even been back since ten years. We've been back eight years, so... Yeah, it was like it's seven fun. of those years it was that. Oh my gosh, it's all Peter Pan themed. That one's Wendy with Michael and John and Tinkerbell. Sneeze on there and then Peter Pan. Oh, it has a tattoo on its butt. Cute with the Lost Boys on there. This is awesome. Oh, did you see Captain Hook? So far, this is my favorite gingerbread display for the simple fact that they don't have a printed out, nicely typed up ingredients list. They found them to their ingredients list. Yeah, that's pretty kick butt. And they have a Smee horse, and Smee's my favorite. All right, one last check of a classic Boardwalk Crescent Lake gift shop for the this cup. This is like one of the best gift shops at this shop. It really is. It's so unique, but... Carolyn Earhart would agree. Carolyn, put a comment down below how much you love Sarah right now. She loves me a lot. <laughs> I love her a lot. All right, head into the car. I want to say thank you for the awesome couple that stopped us and chit-chatted with us for a while. Yeah, that's so great. Yes. Hopefully, they're trying to go on Rise of the Resistance tomorrow. They already went on it once, so I hope they get on it before they go back to the cold Indianapolis. Yeah. We're going to try and ride it. Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. That's our plan. Oh, we are home. I took Eve out. Look what was in the mailbox. What could this be? Look at this. Our itinerary. We got, we got our luggage tags. I gave Peter one last birthday surprise. I know he likes this brand. I'm not a wine connoisseur, but I know he likes this brand. But I have never seen this creepy, <laughs> the banished version of it before. Um, so yeah, last birthday surprise of the day. December 12th, my birthday. <laughs> Today's message is by our favorite, favorite, Albert Einstein. Try not to become a man of success, but rather try to become a man of value. All right, it is actually 4.30 in the morning. Fall asleep on the couch. Sarah falls asleep on the couch. Eve falls asleep in her bed. Um, so I'm gonna wake them up and we're gonna head to bed. But thank you for all the birthday messages. You guys are the best. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>